Hello students. So in today's video we have a grade 3 and 4 quantitative battery question. And in this video we'd be talking about what should be our approach when we are attempting a question like this. So let us go ahead and read the question. The question reads as Martina leaves her house at 6.55 a.m. and arrives at school at 7.32 a.m. So the first piece of information we have is that Martina leaves her house at 6.55 a.m. and she arrives the school at 7.32 a.m. Now her friend Diane arrives at school at 7.45 a.m. even though she lives closer to the school and it takes her 12 minutes less than Martina to get there. When does she leave her house? So if you notice here we have two different people in the question. Here we are talking about Martina and then we are also talking about Deanne. So what should we do first is we should go ahead and find out how much time does it actually take Martina to reach school. So what you can do here is you can you know go ahead and create a small timeline which would help you understand the total time taken by Martina to reach school. So the first piece of information that we have here is that she leaves her house at 6.55 a.m. So let us begin in our initial point to be 6.55 a.m. And what we know that at this particular moment, at this particular time, she was at her home. And she's leaving her home at 6.55 a.m. Then the second piece of information tells us that she arrives at school at 7.32 a.m. So let us say that at 7.32 a.m she arrives at school. Now what we need to do is we need to calculate the total time taken by Martina to reach school, right? So what we can do is we can make this particular point as 7 a.m. This would help us identify the total time taken because we know 6.55 to 7 is just 5 minutes, right? So this is a 5 minute time interval and moving ahead if you see from 7 to 7.32, you get a small window of 32 minutes. So with this, we can understand the total minute, the total time taken by Martina to reach school. So that would be Martina takes 5 minutes plus 32 minutes to reach school and that is equal to 37 minutes. So with this we understand that it took 37 minutes for Martina to reach school. Now the second piece of the equation tells us that even though Diane lives you know closer to the school and she reaches school at 7.45 a.m. Now the other piece of information is also telling us that it takes her 12 minutes less than Martina to get there. So if Martina is taking 37 minutes to reach school and if it, you know, if Diane should take 12 minutes less than Martina, what should be the ideal time for Diane to reach school, right? It should be something as 37 minus 12 minutes. So if we go ahead and do this subtraction, you would get 7 minus 2 as 5 and 3 minus 1 as 2. So this tells us that it should take Diane 25 minutes to reach school. Now, they are also telling us that Diane reaches school at 7.45 a.m. Diane reaches school at 7.45 a.m. and it should take her just 25 minutes to reach school. So if this is the case, can I subtract, you know, 25 minutes from 7.45 to identify at what time did she exactly leave her house? So if I go ahead and do that, I get 5 minus 5 is 0, 4 minus 2 is 2, and 7 minus seven, 0 is 7. So this tells me that Diane left her home at 7.20 a.m. So if I go ahead and check all my options, I can see that option B would be my correct answer. So students, this is how you go about solving a quantitative battery question. Perfect. Thank you. Bye-bye.